Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Heritage FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the mid-season of 2037-2038. We are top of the championship, uh, sorry of the premiership, um, with a six-point lead to Chelsea. We've been doing really well, we have lost just recently uh, the previous match to Man City for the FA Cup, so that's um, a bit disappointing, but everything else is on track. Uh, I'm hoping we can keep this lead in the um, in the league, and uh, the Champions League is going okay as well. We're at the moment topping the league as well, um, just about. And yeah, still on track to um, play the semi-final against um, someone. I don't know who yet. Uh, wait, semi-final has been played. Oh, we have the second leg to play. Uh, I'm hoping we can get that sorted out against Liverpool and then Man United and Tottenham one of those will play with us in the final I'm guessing uh, we won the community shield we knew about that already yeah no other updates we actually didn't do any transfers which is why I'm coming in early I know I've had this offer for Alfredo but actually we can't afford him so it was just a just to see if Chelsea would accept I think they they have accepted pretty much um, see if you would actually come come over but um, we're not gonna have enough money to complete this so there are no changes to the squad the squad is still exactly the same as before uh, yeah so I'll quickly take you through the squad again Owen Goodman uh, a goalkeeper still one of the few from real life and the other goalkeeper is a Nugen Diego Zupel who's been with us for a long time some of these positions we're gonna have to improve considerably but uh, yeah for now it seems to be working out David F. Alfonso on the um, DR position and the other player in that position is Anthony um, who's been with us for ages the both of them Nugens Furman I had a 70 million offer for this guy but I had a quick look just to see if he was worth selling him and there's no other central defender out there with the characteristics that I want and he's only 23 so I didn't sell him I could have made loads of money from him but yeah I didn't sell him in the end so he's still around and I'm hoping he'll be around for ages uh, the other player in that position is our very very trusted uh, Zahari Velinov who's been with us not the longest but the second longest currently at the club. The longest player, the longest serving player at this club is Lindem Ningi and he's still with us in the non answer centre-back position since the Skybet Championship. Uh, yeah, so he's come a long way and he's worth 41 million now, so that was a pretty good buy. Uh, the other player in that position is Simon Tipple, uh, who's arguably the, less, the best player now in that position. Uh, so he's brand new from, um, from the summer. Uh, Matthew Anderson will need to be replaced very soon. I think he might be retiring at the end of the season anyway. And the other player in the left side of the fence is Marco Ohana, who's also not brilliant, but he's quite young, so he'll probably stick, stick around for next season as well. DMs, we got Mata Beseni, who is recent to the club. Uh, the other player is Ron Gomes, who will be retiring at the end of the season. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, yeah, so those two, um, all of our middle uh, midfield center back, um, midfield center players. Uh, Papa Kamara, the main, probably the well, not really the main, I guess. I think he's the second main guy in our position, and the main guy, Antonio Pastore, who's been doing pretty well for us uh, this season. Uh, then the two backups, we have uh, pa -pa -pa -pa, Luigi Di Martino. So our first backup for that position and then our backup to the backup who is certainly retiring already decided at the end of the season is Hernando uh, sorry Enzo Fernandez and he will be retiring so he'll definitely be replaced at the end of the season by someone new our two long-standing AMRs we've got Alejandro Lorenzo who you can sponsor by the way all of these new gens you can sponsor on patreon if you follow uh, me on Patreon there, you can sign up and sponsor one of these. Ben, ha ha ben Hames, also with us for a long time. Ooh, hang on. 
Yeah, he goes way back, doesn't he? We loaned him even before uh, Linda, so he goes way back with us. Okay. Uh, on the left side, hold you Aguilar, who I very, very nearly replaced. Uh, but we'll sort that out next year. I think he might be gone next year. And then the other player, the main player, really, for the left side. Where is he? Ah, Kenny Lawless is currently suffering from a cold. Therefore, I've kicked him out. Uh, so he doesn't spread it. Uh, he's our best player um, in the whole club. Also our best goal scorer this year. He's fairly young and he's got a long way to go. So... So he was a good investment. Valentin Torres, our main striker, who's doing okay this season. Not as impressive as last season, but um, yeah, still in the top 10 goal scorers this season. I actually don't know exactly where he is at the moment. Let's find out. Player overview. He's third with 10 goals. So he's got a bit of a deficit to, to make up. But yeah, and then our token youth player, who's actually doing really well. Um, was not expecting him to be doing this well, I'm not going to lie. So he's got, so far, season stats, which, oh, I've never even opened this before. Um, Alright, so season stats, Champions League, four goals in four games, that's pretty good. Premier League, three goals in, what's that, 13 games? One goal in one game in Carabao Cup, and then he's also played for his na his na uh, nation. One goal in four games. So he's doing okay. Uh, he's also got some assists flying around as well, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so he's doing he's doing pretty good. So that's that's really good. So no changes, as I said. That means we're going to have a strong cohesion going forward the rest of the season. I will review... Actually, we could probably do that now. I always review... Oh, where is it? Blind me. There you go. I always review captains and so on. At this point, see if there's any changes. He's from the other 18s. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Just to kind of see. I know I, you don't. You don't need to fill out the captain's list all this way, all the way down. I do. I don't know why I do it. Might be an OCD thing. Who knows? But um, I do fill it out completely. Um, because. Well, I guess the main reason I do it is because I do a lot of friendlies when there's no matches on. And then it kind of... Um, I bring in a lot of youth players. And that way I'm certain that senior players, even though there might be just one or two senior players playing in that match, um, they still take responsibility for penalties and captaincy. So that's basically why I do it. Okay, I will also uh, review at this point the training, the personalized training, because I know I'm not bringing anyone else in. And what I do for that, I won't do it now. I'll do it off camera. But essentially, the main, the the, the gist of it is, I go for the position that I play the player in, look at the green attributes. So that's those are the key attributes, and look at the the one that is sort of lowest. Um, Agility, well, we've got kicking as well, so let's see. Sweeping, yeah, let's change that, say, for long. And then he'll practice his kicking. And I also discuss a random trait with a random coach. Uh, if they don't, if I don't get anything, any good feedback on what I suggested, I just go, well, what do you suggest? And he said, well, in this case, nothing. Oh, actually, I didn't press the right button, did I? Let's try again. Da, da. Okay, so in this case, he's not giving me a button. Let's try that with a different player. Um, where's Zupel? Da, 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 what does he need? Well, he probably needs reflexes, so... Reaction is already doing that. I must have been suggesting that for... Oh, there you go. Do you have any suggestions? And in this case, he says no. Oh, it's... Uh, uh, I can't think of anything. Okay. So in this case, he said no, but these are goalkeepers, and the goalkeepers work differently. So let's look at this. Uh, tackling, we can't really do anything with that, so we go anticipation. And you can improve that by doing attacking movements, and he's already working on something. Oh gosh, I need a good example here, come on. Uh, who's next? Da -da -da. Anthony. 
marking. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, they'll give us something. What do you suggest? And uh, nothing. Oh my god. Guys. Give me something. To suggest. Da, da, da. Okay, you can go for something like... He's been working on that for a while. Let's go to Ariel. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Who else plays in that position? Oh yeah, Zelenov, but he's injured, so we're not going to be able to discuss much. Um, let's see how he's doing for his attributes. Yeah, that seems okay to me. Yeah, we won't be able to discuss anything for him. Uh, Simon... Let's get him to practice his defensive positioning. Yeah, he's already working on that. Uh, how about you? In this position. Uh, I'm going to go for the positioning because we can't improve concentration. So he's already working on that. And because he's older, I probably won't get... Yeah, I probably won't get a, a suggestion. This is a bit... It, this works better in at the start of the season because none of them are working on anything. So you'll get advice for younger players. Like this guy's too old as well, so you probably won't get anything suggested. Uh, Marco Hannett isn't old though, so let's see. I'm gonna go for the fence. He's already working on something. Matar, that's correct. Uh, we're gonna go for attacking movement. Let's see if they give us something. Come on, give me something. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna end up going through all of them in this rate, which is fine, which is fine. We'll get to see the process, which is good. Jean Gomes is old. So the best thing we can do for him is get him to keep working on his defensive stuff. Um, and then Papa, his physical has dropped off, but he's not going to improve even if I asked him to train it. So and that's why I don't really bother with that. Okay, here we go. So let's get this guy to do first touch. He's already doing that, and he's already practicing something. That's okay. Pastore, uh, he also needs to practice first touch. Nice. Is this going to be a winner? Nope. Okay. Uh, Hernando. I don't know why I keep calling him Hernando. His name is Enzo. Uh, we need to practice decisions. So that's final third. And that's already ongoing. I don't got any. Got, you haven't got anything for him. Uh, where is Martino? He needs to practice attacking movements. And he's already working on something. Lorenzo. Needs to be working on dribbling, probably. He's been working on quickness before, so ball control. Where's Ben Hames? Ben Hames needs to be working on quickness still. And he's already working on lobbing the keeper. Julio Aguilar. Crossing is the thing I want him to work on. Nice. And Kenny Lawless. I want him to work on dribbling. I think he's already working on that. We won't be able to ask for anything. So these guys will have to come back to them once they come back from injury. Torres, poacher. Finishing, which is shooting. There we go. He's already placing shots. And finally, we might get some luck with this guy, hopefully. Poacher. He's been doing a great job improving anticipation, so I'm going to keep him doing that. Is he going to be able to work on something? Do you have any suggestions? Yes! There we go. I had to go through the whole squad to find. So yeah, so the then the coach will suggest something. And I said, yes, yeah, sounds good. I swear to you, when you start the season in the summer, uh, you get lots of these... Um, 
so I, I go through lots of these. It's just because a lot of the guys um, are already working on something, so and they haven't completed it. So, um, so that's why uh, I only had one player to do that for. Okay, enough of the waffling there. Um, let me save that because in case something happens, and then let's go do the match. I have a good group of players. You know, Kenny Lawless is injured, but the rest of the players seem to be what we would normally go for in on a match day. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Pretty much. Aguilar is the only one that is more of a backup player. Zupo is injured, but to be fair, Goodman has been playing a lot this season. So let's talk about 25, FM 25. Actually, before I forget, let me let me talk to you about the um, Nugent of the uh, of Patreon, Robip Zugach. Sorry, I forgot about that. Robip, sorry, Robip. Here you are. You are doing okay. Still at PSG. Ever since we sold him, he seems to be having a better season this year. It's probably the best season he's had. Already four goals, three assists, three player of the match. Nice and high average rating. Uh, I guess he's in peak, peak form, peak career, and so on. Yeah, he's still doing pretty well. So, if he was in my club, he would definitely be playing with Pastor because he's got some pretty good ratings there for his attributes. There we go, so this is a sponsored Nugent. If you want to sponsor your own Nugent, uh, basically what happens, you sign up on Patreon and I then assign to you, uh, starting with the best available uh, senior um, Nugent, or depending on your subscription, uh, it might be a youth Nugent as well. Talking about youth, our youth is doing fine. The under 18s obviously always do better than the other 21s for some reason. Uh, they are still... are they still going in the Champions League? UF... no, they lost with Juventus. Uh, oh, but they still should have gone through. Maybe not. I don't know how it, how it works. Is it top 16? League path... Uh, let's go with rules. Yeah, league path and then knockout. How does it work? Uh, top 22, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's a bit weird. Okay. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, I don't think they have any more. Youth. UEFA, UEFA. Oh, there we go. UEFA. Youth League Knockout play it, play off round. So they'll play that as well. So they've gone through. Uh, they are still going to play the quarterfinal for the Youth Cup and the fifth round of the FA Cup for the Youth. And they're still in contention to win this as well, which is good. So the under 18s are doing okay. Uh, sorry, so FM25. Uh, coming up in March. Not much to say about it, really. Other than they said um, there's not going to be a uh, database update for FM24. Which, honestly, I don't really care about. Because my plan is to keep playing this same save until... Uh, FM25 comes out. So, I, th I, you know, I think it's good that they are focusing on the new game and not wasting resources um, on this game anymore. That's my personal opinion. We, um, I might, what I might do, just as a dry run, cause, but basically when a new game comes out, I want to do a series of like, going through, almost like a manual. And um, so I want to do a dry run for this. So um, I'm going to be working on those in the next month. And I'll do a dry run with FM24. And um, see if it's worth doing even. So there we go. Confirm. Uh, now I have a cheeky suspicion that when FM25 comes out. It will include international football. Um, so that will be nice. 
think a lot of the things they took out of the game, they then... Not all of them, but some of them, they then realised, oh, well, actually, the game wouldn't be as worthwhile without those features. So, so that, yeah, I do have a sneaky suspicion that we will have international football in Football Manager when it comes out in March, which I would love if that happened. Not that I play it a lot, but I, I like having the option to play it. Uh, and when I do play it, I do tend to, um, um, you know, enjoy it if I get into it. This For this save, uh, I you know I got offered so many jobs as international manager. And I even took, for a couple of weeks, I took on France. But because it was not part of the scope of what I wanted for this save, uh, I gave up on it. Um, but if it was like... A, if it was a save where I was just literally doing whatever jobs came up, like a journeyman type thing, uh, then yeah, I definitely would like to include international in that. So it looks like it's really possible for us to win the Premier League this year. Um, and we, if that happens, we have time to... Um, Perhaps even win the champions, who knows? Um, and if that happens, we have time to play the world club competition as well, which uh, would be the pinnacle of what Hereford could could go go to and achieve. So I think we can still achieve. We still have time before FM twenty four com uh, twenty five comes out. We still have time to achieve all the things that we want to achieve with Hereford. So, I'm actually not that upset that the game's late. So it gives me extra time to finish this save. And this game with um, Atletico isn't going very good, is it? Let's do some subs. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. One more and then another one in a bit. Why have I done that? Hang on. This guy. Okay. Oh, I can't actually. No, I don't. Uh, the reason I want to put Enzo in, uh, Enzo in, is because in case we get another red card and he has to move around and play DM and so on, which Luigi doesn't do. So that's why. Okay, final sub. Um, let's get Marco in. Yeah, so we are through, this is just the last match for the league stage, uh, but we are through to the playoffs anyway, so it doesn't really matter what the result is. It would have been nice to go out on a win against Atletico, but uh, it doesn't make a difference. We're still going to be a seeded um, team, uh, which means our first opponent will be slightly easier, in theory which gives us a better chance to get through to the final stages of to the to the final even I would say of um, Champions League I th did we get to the final last year no we didn't we lost in the semi-final and then Barcelona I think I think we lost against and then they went on to win so we got as far as the final four I think we could do the same this year, if not better. Our, seem, uh, our team seems to be holding up really well, even though the players themselves, uh, there are so many you know, better players out there. They would be expensive, we don't have the money to bring them in. But the players that we have are nowhere at the level as some of these other teams. However, because they've been playing together for quite a while, a lot of them, and the cohesion is so good, um, it just works somehow, and we are doing pretty well. Okay, thank you so much for watching until the end, and I'll come back again at the end of the season when we know how it's going to pan out for next season, and we'll talk a little bit about that. 
And if there's any FM news, obviously I'll approach them as well in that episode. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. And, um, you know, just take care. See you in the next one. Bye.